Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make vegan foundation. Now, of course, if you're an extremely busy person and you really don't have time to make your own makeup, you can always go to the store and buy products like NYX, that's N-Y-X, or Lush, and um, depending on your area, you can always Google it. <laughs> Um, to see which products are vegan. So for me, I have NYX. So you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're going to be needing some cocoa powder. And for the lightning powder, you can either use baby powder, um, baking powder, or you can use cornstarch. For me, I prefer cornstarch because it's the purest with baby powder and baking powder. The reason that it's an option is because it contains cornstarch. So if you don't have cornstarch by itself, you can use one of those. What you're also going to need is a container to mix it in. And, of course, something to apply it with. And, it also helps to have a spoon, so you can take out the powder a lot easier. The cornstarch is really there uh, for the fair skinned. Um, it's to lighten the mix. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take some cocoa powder and you're going to put it hopefully over the sink into your mixing container. Then you're going to take either the cornstarch, the baking powder, or the baby powder and you're going to take a spoonful of that and you're going to put it into the mix. Then close your container and always make sure to leave a little bit of space inside the container. That way you can shake it up. And then keep shaking it until you're sure it's mixed. What you're going to be left with is something like this. And it does seem a little bit like regular foundation that you can buy in the store. The key is this is animal The great thing about this is it's cruelty free and there's no animal products in it. There is much cheaper products uh, when you're doing this. So it's not like choking your wallet or anything. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to like take your finger, <laughs> put it in the foundation, and put it on the back of your hand. And you're just gonna just like sort of rub it in. If it's a little bit too dark, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply just a little bit more of the lightening powder whichever you choose to use and always make sure that you have enough room to shake it up so it mixes well And always 
just make sure to test it. It's much better. It's much better, it still needs a little bit of light. The best place to be doing this is, of course, in the bathroom because this, of course, can get very messy. While you're doing this, powder can go all over the place and it can, even if you drop the container, it'll just be a huge mess. So that is the reason that you'll be doing this in the bathroom. What you can always do if the back of your hand doesn't work, you can always just do this on your face. And the awesome thing about this is that in the process of you wearing this foundation, it also helps your skin to look better and it just heals your skin because it's all natural. So it's good for you. So with this, your skin will look clear and healthy without ruining it in the process and actually healing it. So. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make vegan foundation. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!